Did you know our world is made up of packets just like this one, except for those packets contain energy and not chips. You probably heard of particles, right? Particles are the building blocks of our universe. The textbook definition for them is something that you can't further break down. And if you're something like me, then you would think the particles as a spherical, physical object, just like this football. But we have been lied to. Let me explain physics's most whack and unintuitive theory, which is quantum field theory or QFT for short. Think of our world as this fish tank. Like the water in this fish tank, our world is also filled with something that we can't touch, see or feel. That is called a field. Well, not this field. If we define a field mathematically, it means that each point in space has a value. Sounds confusing, right? Well, let's go back to our mini world. Let's place a dipper. This dipper will produce a set of waves. The water in the wave has a higher value or height than the still water behind it. Hence, the water acts as a field, as different points has different values. Well, what has all these fields and waves got to do with our particle and our universe, you ask? Well, according to QFT, a particle is nothing but a localized disturbance or vibration in its respective field. To summarize, QFT states that our universe is made up of fields that exist all around us to the edges of the universe, and all particles such as quarks, electrons, etc. are localized vibrations in their respective fields, which represent a packet of energy. To understand this, Imagine the water as an electron field. That would make the wave an electron. The wave represents a packet of energy that causes disturbance in the water. Then shouldn't we be creating particles just by moving our hand? I mean, it requires energy, so shouldn't it cause a disturbance? Well, it's not that easy. To create a particle, you need a specific amount of energy. The amount of energy you need is related to its mass by the equation E is equal to mc squared. There are about 17 different fields in our universe which correspond to the 17 different fundamental particles dictated by the standard model. Think of this as 17 different flavors of water in our fish tank which represents the world. They coexist without mixing. These fields interact with one another by exchanging energy when particles are created, destroyed or exchanged. Then what about when we touch physical objects? Well, we can't touch anything. What we feel is the exchange of energy between the outermost electron on our skin surface and the object surface, repelling each other. Now you know our world is made up of nothing but energy and vibrations.